All right, AI News Roundup. We've got deep fakes, Jan LeCun's billion dollar exit, and the state versus federal showdown coming up here. Uh, so AI generated nude images. This is unfortunately really easy to make now, these deep fakes of a couple of middle school students and high school students are exploding across American schools, and most schools have no idea how to handle this. The numbers right now are staggering. According to uh, reports from the National Center of Missing and Exploited Children, these fake AI images have jumped from around 5,000 cases in 2023 to over half a million cases just in the first half of 2025. Louisiana middle school cases actually made national headlines when two boys created some deep fake uh, nude images of eight of their female classmates. The crazy part is one of the young ladies reported this, nothing was done. So the one girl actually started a fight on her bus beating up one of the boys that did this and she got expelled from school. Now, since both boys have had charges pressed against them, but this is something that parents need to be actively paying attention to. Meanwhile, there's been a massive industry shakeup. Jan LeCun, who has been part of the FAIR uh, group at Meta for a long time, he just launched the Advanced Machine Intelligence Labs, and he's hoping for a valuation of around $3.5 billion, and this company hasn't even launched yet. Now, he is a Turing Award-winning pioneer, helped invent the convolutional neural networks that power modern AI models, and what he's hoping to do with this new business is AI world models. We've talked about those in the past. That's where instead of just text, these things actually understand the physical world around them. Uh, Descartes has produced a Oasis, kind of a Minecraft-like clone that's a real-world generated video game. Microsoft has jumped on jumped in on this. We're going to see a whole lot more of these in the near future. But AI is also about to get insanely political. Uh, Governor Kathy Hochul from New York has just passed the RAISE Act requiring AI companies to be transparent about their safety protocols and punishing them for any kind of incidents or violations with they don't report within 72 hours. This follows a similar law passed in California. And this is what President Trump is actually attempting to bypass because this is going to get increasingly difficult for AI companies to have to try to follow 50 different AI laws. It's something that we really need to be talking about and discussing is how are we going to regulate AI here in the future? But stay with me. This is going to become crazy. And 2026 is around the corner. We're going to see even more advances. We're going to see more craziness as the world changes into the new year.